is a press conference where 63 House of Representatives members elect from the opposition parties endorsed the All Progressives Congress APC consensus candidates, Honorable Tajuddin Abbas and Honorable Benjamin Kalu, for Speaker and Deputy Speaker of the incoming 10th National Assembly. The spokesman of the Coalition of United Political Parties, CUPP, who is the member-elect representing Idiaton North-South Federal Constituency, calls on all the candidates in the race who were banking on opposition votes to withdraw from the race as the opposition votes they were banking on would not be available for them. Our 63 votes without any dissent will go for Honorable Tajuddin Abbas for Speaker and Benjamin Carlo for Deputy Speaker in the coming days. Nigerians will come to know the identity of the DPK group and will also feel our impact in the coming days. It is on this note that I call on my fellow colleague members elect who are still in the race for speakership and deputy speakership to stop and join the prefect of the class, Honorable Tajdin Abbas and his deputy, Benjamin Carlo. Ugo Chinyere, however, calls on the APC not to do anything that will tarnish the character of Honorable Abbas and Kalu or the independence of the House if the duo emerge victorious. I and my colleagues of like mind call on the leadership of the APC to know that our support for Tajuddin Abbas is not because of the party selected him. Absolutely. It is not because the party selected him, but because we know he possesses what he requires to drive the tenth rep to progress. As opposition, we would have truly preferred they did not choose him so that we can even make him ourselves. We therefore ask the APC not to interfere in the running of the House upon the election of Tajuddin Abbas and Benjamin Carlo. The CUPP spokesperson also explains that the controversy that the House rules were tempered with were not true, stating that the House rules were last printed in December 2020 and not after the 2023 election, and by the rules, the election will be by open ballot system. Persons raise issues about purported controversy, controversy in the House rule. I am a man that works with facts. I went on a research into the archives of the House. I came to the irrefutable conclusion that the House rules were not doctored, tampered with, or illegally amended. I have had the opportunity to see all the copies of the other papers, as well as the votes and proceedings of the House. I even have to go a step further to meet my elder brother and colleague, Right Honorable Julius Hombre, who coordinated the am amendment process as far back as 2019. I will have seen the government printed copies to ascertain that the copies we are given are the authentic house rules and shall be the one which the 10th assembly will use. Expectations are high as the 10th assembly leadership election draws close. Our